Hello and welcome to this self-learning series for Control-M Workload Manager Automation Products. My name is Mark Dobinson and I'm the Lead Technical Support Analyst for the InControl Mainframe Products. This is one of a series of self-learning videos that are designed to help you with your day-to-day -day tasks with the family of products. The title of today's video is Installing All the IOA Products Using the Express Install. In this video, we will be looking how to install all the IOA products, including Control-M for ZOS, Control-M Restart, Control-M GLCL Verify, Control-D, Control-V, Control-M Analyzer, Control-O, and Control-M Tape. This will be installed using the Express Installation Facility, which is provided in Release 700 and above. This video will show you how to install Control-M for ZOS, Control-M Restart, Control-M Analyzer, Control-M JCL Verify, Control-D, Control-V, Control-O, and Control-M Tape using the new Express install process which is available from release 700 onwards. The Express installation process is recommended when you want to complete an installation in the quickest and simplest manner. The first screen that you see here be the initial screen that you see once you've invoked ICE for the first time. So from here I'm going to invoke the installation option. The next two screens are concerning the license agreement which you need to confirm before proceeding. The next screen is the environmental definition screen where you need to set in environment details the install you're about to perform. The only change I've really made here is to this SMS storage class so I can control the placement of the files. After you've entered all the details, hit PF3 to save the environmental details. On the next screen, select Express Installation, followed by Interactive Installation. As I said earlier, for this demonstration I'll be installing all of the products, which are Control-M, Control-M JCL Verify, Control-M Restart, Control-M Analyzer, Control-M Tape, Control-D, Control-V, and Control-O. On the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the capacity, and this determines the size of the database files that are going to be created. Options here can be small, medium, large, extra large, or reference. Reference allows you to take the database sizes from a current installation. I then hit the enter button on the screen to validate all the details I've just entered. And once I'm happy, hit the PF11 screen to move forward to the next screen. The next screen is a short parameter display entry data entry screen where a number of defaults are picked. If you need to change any of these defaults, just overwrite the values and hit the enter button. Scroll down to see more parameters. And once you're happy with all the parameters, once again hit PF11 to move to the next screen. The next screen you see is a long parameter data entry screen where you can enter details about job cards and also data set naming conventions should you wish to change them from the defaults that have been taken. Again, scroll down and you'll see all of the dataset name qualifiers that you can actually change at this point. Once you're happy with entering all of these details, once again hit the PF11 key to move to the next screen. next screen is the Allocation Attributes Entry screen. And this is where you can change any SMS definitions or volumes, volume, volser and unit 
definitions for the files are going to be created during the install. Again, scroll down, change any as required. The installation I'm performing here, I'm using SMS to allocate the files. There are some couple of exceptions to this, and that is that the Control T database files and the Control T trace files have to be placed on non-SMS volumes. Also, there is a requirement in Control O to hard code a volume and serial number, which I'll show you in a second. There's also a requirement to code the VOLSA and units of the controller operational libraries which is discussed in the installation manual. So having completed all the screen, again PF11 to scroll to the next screen. And that's the end of the input that's required for this installation. At this point you can then reply yes to continue and press enter and the automated install process will now start. This process will probably take about 10 minutes. Uh, it, the length of time it takes is really dependent on how large the database files to be initialized are coded in some of the previous parameters that we saw earlier. You'll see that all the parameters are verified once again. And ICE also performs a small test to make sure that it's able to submit a job using the previous values and also be able to Monitor, monitor their completion. This is because as part of the process many jobs are submitted in the background and the ICE process needs to monitor these jobs from submission to completion and make sure they're ended okay before going on to the next step. All the messages that you can see on the screen now are written to a log file so if there are any problems with the install and you lose messages on the screen that you can browse the log file to see what messages were issued in the as part of the process. The express installation is not restartable. If you have any problems during this install and any errors come up on the screen, then you will need to delete all of the files and start the express install from the beginning again obviously correcting any problems that may have happened in the first round. As you can see at the moment, ICE is still being installed, uh, IOA is still being installed.
you can now see that the installation of IOA has completed and ICE has now started to install Control M for ZOS. Once again you can now see that Control M installation is finished and Control M JCL Verify installation has started. Control M JCL Verify install is just completed and Control M Restart installation has started. Control M restart installation is completed and now ICE is going on to install Control M Analyzer. Now Control M Analyzer installation has completed and Control M Tape is being installed. I can see Control M tape has finished installing and ICE is now installing Control D.
you can see the control D has finished its installation and control V is being installed. Uh, control V is now completed installation and control O is being installed. Now you can see that the installation is completed. There will be, be a message at the end of the installation to say whether the install has ended successfully or not. You'll also note at the bottom of the screen that you can hit the PF11 button to scroll through for some additional tasks which you'll have to perform having completed this installation, such as APF authorization, applying security, editing password members, etc. So at this point, the installation is now complete, and you can hit the PF3 button to end the installation. From here onwards, you can go into the customization of any product should you need to make any further changes. This is the end of this video, and thank you for watching.